help speed the patient transition to the next level of care with the rugged LifePak 1000 defibrillator. Easy to use, powerful, and adaptive enough for professional responders, this advanced automated external defibrillator features enhanced capabilities that can help improve life-saving outcomes. Make your job easier with escalating energy of up to 360 joules, a five-year battery life, and durable construction that can stand up to severe environments. Getting started is quick and easy. Follow these four steps to set up your device. Open the box. Remove the device and any accessories. Insert the battery into the compartment. Connect electrodes to the cable receptacle. Electrodes can also be pre-connected. Easily check readiness status with clear display alerts. The wrench symbol indicates an existing condition that prevents or could prevent normal defibrillator operation. The OK symbol means the device is ready to use. The battery symbol displays how full your battery is. Perform better in noisy environments with clear audio voice prompts and tones. Stand clear. Turn the device on or off using the green power button. Pressing the shock button when flashing delivers a shock to the patient. Choose between manual or AED operating modes and enter information in setup mode using the menu button. The LifePak 1000 features a single battery to reduce extra weight and bulk. Make quick selections while using the defibrillator with two convenient soft keys identified by labels on screen. The large LCD screen displays pertinent information during all modes of operation. Get easy access and direct connection to the ECG cable, infant child electrodes, and quick combo therapy electrodes. The LifePak 1000 combines the simplicity of an AED with clear guidance with the flexibility of manual mode for more advanced rescuers. When purchasing your device, choose between a graphical or three-lead ECG display depending on your needs. Both versions feature a large LCD screen with a shock counter and CPR countdown timer. The ECG display offers ECG monitoring and manual mode for trained professionals to determine when to shock the patient. To access setup mode on your device, press and hold both soft keys while pressing the on off button. The default passcode is 0000 and can be changed inside setup mode. Configurations include energy sequence, CPR time, pulse check, ECG display, for three lead ECG devices only, auto analyze, motion detection, prompt volume, and service alert alarm. As a primary caregiver during a cardiac emergency, your goal is to maximize the amount of high quality CPR administered during treatment. CPR Max technology is designed to allow resuscitation protocols to maximize the quantity of CPR administered during treatment with an AED. Initial CPR prompts you to perform an initial period of CPR. Pre-shock CPR time prompts for CPR after a shockable ECG rhythm is detected before the shock is delivered. CPR time 1 and 2 indicates the CPR time periods after shock or no shock advised decisions. Stack shocks eliminate the analysis after each shock and insert CPR prompts after each shock. Pulse check indicates when, if ever, the device prompts for pulse checks. The Shock Advisory System, SAS, evaluates the patient's heart to quickly determine if there is a shockable rhythm. 1. Confirm the patient is unresponsive, not breathing, and without a pulse. Begin CPR if these criteria are met. 2. 
Turn on the defibrillator. Voice prompts will guide you through the rescue process. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Three, prepare the patient for therapy electrode placement. If possible, place the patient on a hard surface away from standing water. Remove clothing from the patient's upper torso. Remove excess hair from the electrode sites if necessary. If shaving is necessary, avoid cutting the skin. Clean the skin and dry it briskly with a towel or gauze. Do not apply alcohol, tincture of benzoin, or antiperspirant to the skin. 4. Open the therapy electrode packet and remove the electrodes. Slowly peel back the protective liner on the electrodes beginning with the cable connection end. Safely discard the liner to prevent slipping. 5. Apply the therapy electrodes to the patient's chest. Starting with one end, press the electrodes firmly onto the patient's skin as shown. 6. Connect the electrodes to the defibrillator if they are not already connected. 7. Follow the screen alerts and voice prompts for user-friendly instructions. For pediatric patients, use the Infant Child Reduced Energy Defibrillation Electrodes. These pediatric electrodes will attenuate or reduce the energy delivery of LifePak 1000 by a factor of four. Manual mode overrides AED mode for operator-initiated analysis, charge, shock, and disarm functions. Manual mode can be used when taking over from basic providers. To do this, one, press the menu button. Two, select yes to enter manual mode. The ECG trace and heart rate indicator appear on the screen. Three, if the displayed ECG rhythm appears shockable, press charge. The screen will indicate charging and a tone will sound. Four, clear everyone away from the patient, bed or any equipment connected to the patient. Five, when the charge is complete, press the flashing shock button to deliver energy to the patient. Six, after delivering the first shock, the energy for each subsequent shock is automatically selected based on the energy level configured. The LifePak 1000 defibrillator can be set up to display an analyzed soft key when in manual mode. One, confirm the patient is unresponsive, not breathing, and without a pulse. Begin CPR if these criteria are met. Two, press Analyze. Three, if the rhythm analysis results in a no shock advised decision, the defibrillator remains in manual mode without further prompts. Four, if the rhythm analysis results in a shock advised decision, the defibrillator automatically begins charging accompanied by a charge tone. If you determine that a shock is not warranted, press disarm. Five, when the charge is complete, Clear everyone away from the patient, bed, or any equipment connected to the patient. Six, press the flashing shock button to deliver energy to the patient. Seven, after delivering a shock, the defibrillator remains in manual mode. The LifePak 1000 automatically saves patient data that can be digitally transferred to a PC using an infrared method for streamlined quality control, training, and research. To receive the transmission, your computer must have an operational IRDA port, or you can install an IRDA adapter. When your patient's data is transferred to a data management system for review, three patient reports are available, event log, continuous ECG, and code summary critical event record. Event log lists a chronological log of all events. An event is a condition noted by the defibrillator. Continuous ECG shows 40 minutes of the patient's ECG rhythm, beginning when connected and ending when the device is powered off. Code summary combines the event log and a sample of continuous ECG rhythms associated with certain events, like defibrillation. Conveniently store up to two different patient records, the previous and current patient's data. Remember to transfer information as soon as possible after each use 
to avoid reformatting or deleting important insights. Use the following schedule with your internal quality assurance program. Check the readiness display for battery level and visible OK symbol. Check the use by date on the therapy electrode packet and inspect other emergency supplies that may be stored with the device. Your AED needs attention if the OK symbol is not visible, the level of battery charge is one bar or less, the electrode use by date has passed. Replace the battery or electrode packet as indicated. If the OK symbol does not appear, call your local service contact. When you power on the device after it's been off for at least 60 seconds, it takes approximately five seconds to complete a self-test and indicate battery and internal component condition. The AED stores the results and other important readiness information in a test log for future review. When the defibrillator is on and a problem requires immediate service, like a malfunctioning charging circuit, your AED will notify you to call service. Attempt to use the device if needed in an emergency. Otherwise, remove it from active use and contact authorized service personnel to correct the problem as soon as possible. The service symbol will remain visible until the problem is corrected. The device performs automatic self-tests daily and monthly at 3 a.m if not in use. The automatic self-test is not performed if the defibrillator is already turned on at 3 a.m. or if the battery is not installed. If you turn it on while a self-test is in progress, the test stops and the device turns on normally. On the readiness display when powered off or on screen when in use, the fuel gauge indicates approximate level of battery charge at a glance. Your non-rechargeable battery is shipped fully charged. Push the gray button below the battery's symbol to check the charge before installation. All four LEDs should illuminate. When optimally maintained, a new battery pack can provide approximately 17 hours of on time or 440 discharges at 200 joules. Cleaning your device is easy. Simply use the approved cleaners to disinfect your AED. To help prevent therapy electrode damage, only open the electrode package immediately before use. Slowly peel back the protective liner on the electrodes beginning with the cable connection end. Do not trim therapy electrodes. Do not crush, fold, or store electrodes under heavy objects. Store therapy electrodes between 15 and 35 degrees Celsius or 59 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. When you call Stryker to request service, provide the following information model or part number, serial number, and details of the issue. If you ship your AED to a service center or factory, pack it in the original shipping container. For more information and details about LifePack 1000, contact your local Stryker representative.